Jean Burgermeister is a journalist from Austria, and she has written criminal charges against uh, various um, criminals, including uh, David Navarro of the United Nations, Dr. Margaret Chan of what I call the World Homicide Organization, the WHO, uh, President Barack Obama, and uh, various other individuals, Kathleen Sibyl Sibelius of the uh, Health and Human Services, Janet Napolitano of the Department of Homeland Security. The list goes on and on. And uh, it's really quite amazing uh, what's going on. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we were supposed to be on Alex Jones's show this past Sunday, and uh, the show was put on hold an hour before the show. Um, I've had no word from Alex Jones as to whether or not he's going to do the show. I have a feeling that he was told that this is not something he should cover because this is so powerful. What this, what this document has the power of doing, if enough people actually submit this to their local authorities, um, providing them with the information of the crime in progress. And, uh, Jane, before you came on the air, um, Drew was telling us that there are a number of uh, Marines that have been injected with this. Uh, I'm sure it's the swine flu. He, he's not sure exactly what flu, but it's, you know, they were told they were injected with the swine flu. Um, they sent the soldiers back. Um, there's close to 200 of them. Uh, one of them is already dead. A number of them are uh, in very severe uh, condition. So um, it's already starting to happen, and uh, I just want to commend you for your important work. Uh, first of all, if you could just uh, tell the listeners where can they uh, access your documents. I know there's an excellent review on Natural News by an author, Barbara Minton. She's written an excellent uh, summary of your documents that I sent out to my list. But if you could tell the listeners where can they access your documents and uh, uh, any other things you want to tell us about what, what you've experienced. I did tell them that you lost your job this week. Um, what's going on in terms of uh, the, the uh, side effects of you doing this most courageous act? Right. Well, um, first of all, it's a, it's a real pleasure to be on the show, and thank you, Drew, for having me as well. Um, um, I just wanted to say today I was very, very busy because the Austrian Anti-Terrorism Police or Law Enforcement Branch is now looking into Baxter. So this is a, yes, this is the, a very key and important branch of law enforcement in Austria. It's there for the protection of the Constitution and for the combating terrorism. And they've asked me to come in and supply them with information as part of their investigations into Baxter. So it's really moving, moving uh, forward here in a very, very serious manner. Yes, and if, when you I just, tell wait, me, Jane, I just sorry. want to inform the listeners that may not be aware. Um, uh, one of the reasons that you've gone after Baxter specifically is because Baxter International sent 72 kilograms of live bird flu to four different European countries, uh, claiming that they didn't know it was in the other flu that they were. Uh, sending to these companies that knew they were getting the regular flu, they did not know they were getting the bird flu. 72 kilograms. I can't even imagine how much flu virus that is. But I just wanted to let the listeners know that that's one of the reasons that you've uh, highlighted Baxter. And, of course, word has it that uh, Obama owns stock in Baxter. Well, indeed. And it was from Baxter's facilities here in Austria that that 72 kilos was sent out. So the trail of evidence here in Austria is very, very strong. And I'm very pleased to see that the police are taking it seriously and they're looking into it. And when you describe what's going on to these um, soldiers in the USA, I just wanted to draw a parallel with Switzerland, where um, some Swiss soldiers also came down with the swine flu in, in their barracks in Freiburg. And I assume that they were also injected with this uh, virus. It, otherwise, there's no real explanation why they should have gotten so sick. So what we're seeing is a crime, a crime being perpetrated against um, not just civilians, but also, frankly, soldiers by those um, in the highest echelons of the government. And one thing that is absolutely clear here in Austria is the extent to which high members of the government, including the health minister, are involved in the cover-up of this whole outrageous behavior by Baxter, which has put the entire Austrian population at risk, as indeed the entire um, U.S. population is at risk. So we're talking about a tiny group of people who are actively 
um, undermining the safety and security of their own people, presumably for profit, for power. They're acting on behalf of an international cartel because there's no reason why the health minister here should cover up Baxter and put at risk the entire population of Austria as he does so. So um, um, I fear the same is happening in America, in Switzerland. We have a group of people who are in high office who are um, allowing these sort of crimes to be committed against civilians and also soldiers um, in, in the USA. Um, you asked about my, my documents. I just want to point out that a huge number of documents seem to be circulating which are wrong. I hear there some even have bad language within them or whatever. Yes, There's a huge campaign to discredit and smear me with all kinds of rumors about Michael Jackson, you know, uh, backing me before he died. Yes. Please ignore all of that and just go to, to my blog, birdflu666.wordpress.com, and you will find the documents there. Because my site is being hacked so often, um, uh, um, some of the documents are on a website in Switzerland, which seems to be secure, and there's a link or a URL to this website in Switzerland where you can download um, the documents. Okay, can you please repeat Jane, that like very to, slowly? I'd like to offer, like to offer my, uh, my uh, uh, website in Australia, which has never been hacked, uh, knock on wood, uh, it's been a, uh, it's been a, attacked many times, but it's never been totally been able to be hacked and uh, destroyed. I would like to uh, to get many of these documents that you talk about and present and put them in the uh, the uh, uh, area for that I have reserved for Dr. Carley, and I will do the same uh, within that uh, presentation for you and your documents, so there will be a backup. Uh, in, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes, please, um, please do that, Drew. Thank you so much. And uh, Jane, if you could just repeat your blog site again, very slowly, because um, you know it's a uh, this is a very long distance call, and you were breaking up a little bit. Um, oh. Repeat it very slowly and spell out any words that you need to. Okay, it's bird flu flu six 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 dot wordpress. Dot com. That's Was webcast. That webcast. Sorry? Webcast. W e b c a s t. Uh, um, no, it's just a, a, a bird flu. B i r d f l u. Yes. Dot. Six six six. Bird flu six six six. Dot WordPress. W O R D P R E S S dot com. Got it. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Great. Okay. Okay. One yes. more okay. Uh, Doctor Carl, I got I got ten IMs asking uh, if if we could get it repeated because uh, they can't make it out. So I've okay. Got let me let, six, 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 dot world. No. Let me repeat it. Um, WordPress, bird flu, F L U six 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 dot WordPress, W O R D, as in David, P R E S S dot com. That's right. Yes. WordPress dot com. Yes, okay. and you have to go to the source because, yes, I got a call from, there's a man by the name of Peter Duffy, I'm sure he's listening in Scotland, who has taken it upon himself to file Jane's documents. In, um, in Scotland, in his area that he lives in, uh, he tried to file it with the police. They refused to take the documents, but he had called me actually a couple of days ago to tell me um, that there's versions of Jane's documents out there that have bad language and things in it. There's all kinds of strange things happening. So uh, you really need to go to Jane's blog in order to get you know the true documents. And yes, in fact... Um, um, a Dr. Ott tried to call me last weekend uh, telling me that Jane was in hiding, which was very interesting because I had just talked to her that morning, and that um, the reason Michael Jackson was killed by the CIA is because Michael Jackson was going to use some of the money he gets from, his, uh, from what was to be his upcoming music tour in England to fund Jane getting you know, the word out about what she's doing. Um, so there's so many... Um, you know, uh, 
you know, different scams going on out there uh, trying to associate Gene with Michael Jackson. I, I had to laugh at that one. That was pretty outrageous. I mean, obviously Michael Jackson was killed by his doctors, but I think he was killed with painkillers. Uh, and, and as Jane said, she has no association with Michael Jackson. So there's all kinds of attempts of, of people that are minions trying to, uh, uh, you know, basically uh, change the argument or put false information out there. Um, and, and that's why I'm so grateful to Jane to come on the show to talk herself about what she's done. Uh, one thing I would